Under a crystal blue October sky above Seongnam, the thunder of jet engines tears through the morning calm. The South Korean Air Force's elite aerobatic team, the Black Eagles, slice across the horizon in perfect formation, streaks of white smoke tracing intricate shapes in the sky. Below, tens of thousands of spectators stand spellbound, their eyes following the synchronized movements overhead. It's opening day of the Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibition, ADEX 2025, the country's largest showcase of air power and military technology. The air vibrates with energy as the jets bank and roll in flawless precision, forming diamond patterns before bursting apart into a stunning vertical climb. Cameras click, flags flutter, and gasps of admiration ripple through the crowd. On the tarmac, uniformed soldiers watch silently, hands shading their eyes from the sun. Children wear miniature pilot helmets, mimicking their heroes in the sky. For them, the Black Eagles aren't just pilots. They're symbols of courage, discipline, and national pride. This year's ADEX is not just another defense show. It comes at a moment when South Korea's aerospace ambitions have reached new heights. The nation that once depended heavily on foreign defense technology is now emerging as a global supplier, exporting tanks, artillery, and advanced aircraft to allies around the world. The sound of jet engines this morning isn't only a demonstration, it's a declaration. South Korea is ready to compete on the world stage. The performance continues. Tight turns, barrel rolls, mirror formations, every maneuver rehearsed to perfection. As the crowd roars in approval, a new aircraft joins the scene, the KF-21 Boromay, South Korea's pride and future. The sleek gray fighter soars into view, cutting through the air with a deep, resonant growl. It represents nearly two decades of research, design, and determination. A product of Korean aerospace industries, the Boromay is the first domestically produced fighter jet of its generation and the clearest signal yet that South Korea's defense industry has come of age. The spectators can feel the vibration in their chests as the Boromai makes a low pass over the runway, followed by a formation of F-16, older allies flying beside a new contender. For many here, this combination of tradition and innovation embodies the country's journey, from a nation rebuilding after war to one designing the aircraft of the future. Parachutists appear next, drifting gracefully through the sky with coloured smoke trailing behind them. The crowd erupts again, cheering as the parachutists descend toward the exhibition grounds. Children wave, photographers rush forward, and the air fills with applause. The entire airbase has turned into a living museum of aviation, a place where the past and future of flight stand side by side. Across the tarmac, rows of aircraft gleam in the sunlight. Transport planes, surveillance drones, and helicopters are lined up like metallic giants. The CN-235M Super Trooper, a cargo plane built for rugged missions, sits alongside the latest reconnaissance drones equipped with cutting-edge sensors. Engineers and officers stand by their machines, explaining details to curious visitors. A steady hum of conversation blends with the distant echo of engines, a soundscape of curiosity and pride. Near the center of the exhibition, one aircraft draws particular attention, the US Navy's EA-18G Growler. Designed for electronic warfare, the jet symbolizes South Korea's enduring alliance with the United States. Visitors queue for photos beside it, and military officials exchange quiet nods of recognition. The partnership between Seoul and Washington remains a cornerstone of regional security, a message subtly reinforced by the presence of the growler on Korean soil. A few steps away, helicopters dominate another section, from the home-built KUH-1 Surian to the mighty Apache Longbow. 
their rotors glint in the sunlight as visitors crowd around for pictures. Then, in a demonstration area, a soldier steps forward beside an enormous rotary cannon, the M61 Vulcan. With a flip of a switch, the barrels begin to spin, the metallic whir growing faster and louder until it becomes a blur of motion. The crowd instinctively steps back, both thrilled and startled by the sheer power of the machinery. Among those watching is Jung Jun Mo, a 23-year-old university student. Smiling broadly, he says, the Black Eagle's maneuvers were much faster and cooler than I expected, and even the weather today turned out to be much sunnier and clearer than I had hoped. I think I'll keep coming back every year. His excitement mirrors the mood of many here, pride mixed with awe, and the thrill of witnessing a nation's engineering dreams take flight. Nearby stands another enthusiast, 19-year-old photographer Lee Jong-min. His camera never leaves his hand. I'm currently majoring in photography, he explains, and I've always loved airplanes. I've always wanted to photograph them, so it's been a long time dream of mine. That's why I decided to come this time. For Lee, the Black Eagle's display is more than a spectacle. It's a visual symphony, each maneuver frozen in his frame, each burst of smoke etched into memory. Later, as he scrolls through his images, Lee smiles again. While photographing the Black Eagles, they looked so incredibly cool, even through the lens, that I was moved to tears. It was truly amazing his words echo across the exhibition grounds, capturing the emotional connection that so many feel toward the event. Beyond the awe and artistry, there is a deeper purpose to ADEX. This biennial exhibition brings together over 500 companies from 35 countries. Global defense giants like Lockheed Martin, Airbus and Boeing stand shoulder to shoulder with South Korea's own champions, Hanwha, Lignex One and Korea Aerospace Industries. The message is unmistakable. South Korea is not just a buyer anymore, it's a builder, a partner, and increasingly, a supplier. Officials emphasize that this year's ADEX marks a milestone in defense diplomacy. With regional tensions rising in East Asia, particularly around the Korean Peninsula and the Taiwan Strait, the exhibition also serves as a quiet stage for strategic reassurance. Behind the polished displays and friendly handshakes, real discussions take place about joint production, intelligence sharing, and the technologies that will define tomorrow's conflicts. Analysts note that South Korea's defense exports reached a record $17 billion in 2024. Deals with Poland, the Philippines, and the United Arab Emirates have turned Korean defense systems into some of the most sought after in the world. The K-2 Black Panther tank, the K-9 Thunder howitzer, and the F-A-50 light fighter jet have become global bestsellers earning the country both prestige and profit. The KF-21 Boromai, however, remains the centerpiece, the symbol of a new era. Developed in partnership with Indonesia, it represents the culmination of national willpower and industrial coordination. Military experts call it South Korea's answer to the fifth generation fighter challenge, an aircraft capable of competing with designs from the US, Europe and China. Its very presence at ADEX embodies Seoul's ambition to join the top ranks of the world's defense innovators. As the exhibition continues, the crowd wanders through the halls where robotic ground vehicles, AI-driven targeting systems, and next-generation radar arrays are displayed under bright spotlights. Engineers demonstrate small drones capable of autonomous flight and coordinated missions, technologies that redefine the modern battlefield, the audience includes diplomats, defense ministers, and foreign buyers, all taking notes, recording data, and quietly planning future partnerships. For South Korea, 
These innovations are not just about commerce, they are about security, prestige and influence. The government's Defence 2030 vision seeks to reduce dependence on imports and expand exports to NATO-aligned countries. Officials see defence diplomacy as a key instrument of soft power, a way to project stability and reliability through engineering excellence. At the same time, ordinary South Koreans see ADEX through a different lens. For them, it's a family outing, a national celebration and an educational experience. Parents explain how jet engines work. Children marvel at the size of the helicopters. Photographers like Lee Jong-min frame each shot as a keepsake of national pride. It's a reminder that behind every machine stands a human story of invention, of effort and of emotion. As the afternoon wears on, the golden light of sunset bathes the airbase in warm hues. The Black Eagles return for one final display. Their jets rise in tight formation, then burst apart, leaving trails of smoke that form the outline of the Korean flag across the sky. The crowd breaks into applause, a spontaneous ovation for skill, beauty and symbolism. In that moment, Seongnam Air Base feels united, soldiers, civilians and visitors sharing a single heartbeat. Parents lift their children onto their shoulders for a better view. Photographers lower their cameras, smiling in quiet satisfaction. The announcer's voice fades into the roar of engines as the Black Eagles perform their final roll before disappearing into the horizon. When the sound finally dissipates, a kind of silence settles. Not emptiness, but fulfillment. People linger, reluctant to leave. For some, like student Yung Jun Mo, it's an annual ritual. For others, like photographer Lee Jong Min, it's a dream realized. For the country, it's a moment of affirmation that its sky, once protected by others, now belongs firmly to its own wings. As night falls, floodlights illuminate the parked aircraft. Their polished metal gleams under the artificial glow, casting long shadows across the tarmac. The air smells faintly of jet fuel and excitement. Technicians make final checks on engines. Military officials close their briefcases. Families head toward the exits, still talking about what they've seen. From a distance, the scene looks like a constellation of innovation. Each plane, each drone, each missile, a star in South Korea's growing galaxy of defense technology. A DEX 2025 has achieved what it set out to do, to impress, to inspire, and to prove that South Korea's aerospace industry is no longer following others. It's leading. As the final broadcast echoes over the loudspeakers, one message stands out clearly. Impressive. That single word, spoken by countless visitors today, captures the mood of the nation. This has been the opening day of the International Aerospace and Defence Exhibition, ADEX 2025, in Seongnam, South Korea. From the roar of the Black Eagles to the quiet pride of young dreamers with cameras and notebooks, it's a story of flight, ambition and identity. Okay. 